What is going on, everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is John. Today, I have for you a big box good. That's right, today we're gonna be taking a look at two items. First, the Ozark Trail Basic Mesh Folding Camp Chair with Cup Holder. It gets four and a half out of five stars out of 657 customer reviews. Comes in two different colors, red and blue, and costs $9.88 each. And we're gonna be taking a look at the Ozark Trail basic quad folding camp chair with cup holder in teal. It gets four out of five stars out of 75 customer reviews. Comes in four different colors, black, teal, graystone, and red, and costs $5.97 each. And today we're gonna to be doing an unboxing and a first impressions of each. We're gonna compare each chair and see what the big difference is between $5.97 and $9.88. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the unboxing and first impressions. So as you can see here, I think the biggest difference between each chair is the length of the package. Uh, the mesh chair is just a little bit longer. Uh, it is the more expensive one. And then you have the basic chair with cup holder and teal. As you can tell, it's just a little bit shorter here. Uh, what's nice is each bag has a handle on it so you can sling it around your shoulder or carry it from one place to the next which is really nice uh, both even though they cost five dollars difference have the same sort of nylon pouch here which is kind of disappointing uh, what i like though is uh, this sticker on the front here or this piece of paper that explains the chair what kind of chair it is and the features that it has and the color that it comes in is actually kind of stitched down to the bag so you'll always know the difference between the two and you'll always know which chair is which or which bag this chair belongs to which is really nice so if you do have multiple chairs in different colors um, and last but not least you get this same drawstring uh, mechanism to open up the bags uh, they seem a pretty decent quality uh, not quite sure how long these bags will last but uh, something's telling me that they're not going to last all that long. The stitching looks pretty weak. It looks pretty, uh, you know, thin, I would say. But, you know, for 5 and $10 respectively, I don't think you could really go wrong. So we'll go ahead and just pull each chair out here. And as you can see, one is actually taller than the other. Uh, it looks like one is longer than the other, but I think that's going to equate to height. If we just flip the chairs around here, we can see that you get some uh, stickers on the mesh chair. Uh, this is made out of all new material consisting of 100% polythylene foam pad. Okay, so that must be referring to the chair itself. And this one, I believe, is made out of the same material, though it actually doesn't state it. So, yeah, let's go ahead and set these chairs up and do a quick comparison. All right, guys, so as you can see, we've got both chairs set up here. We've got all the camera equipment set up. I've got the chairs up on the table here. As you can tell, the main difference between each chair is that the mesh chair here, which is the $10 chair, sits a little bit higher than the basic quad folding chair for $5.97 or $5.98, whatever it costs. It was about six bucks. The quad folding chair just has a basic chair as where the mesh chair, uh, you get a nice mesh backing here, which will probably help vent out, you know, some of that heat that you trap in while you're sitting in the chair. Uh, we were at the beach yesterday actually and I was sweating from my back pretty bad and I think this chair actually would have come in handy, the mesh chair. Uh, these mesh holes in the back would have easily vented out the sweat. And as you can see, if we just back up here momentarily, uh, the mesh chair is actually taller than the basic quad chair. Uh, both have relatively the same construction with these metal pieces. Uh, they feel exactly the same. Uh, you can see uh, just some screws holding in the joints there. Uh, they're exactly the same on the mesh chair, which is interesting that one would cost more than the other. Well, I guess you're paying for that breathability on the back, right? Oh, huh. I thought maybe you got two 
cup holders on the mesh chair, but you only get one cup holder on the mesh chair. It's on the right hand side on the mesh chair and it's on the right hand side on the basic quad folding chair. Uh, both are the same circumference cup holder and made out of the same material and are stitched down on the chair or yeah, I think they're either stitched or glued. Uh, there's actually some stitching there, so I think they're stitched down. Uh, and as you can see here, uh, the build quality is exactly the same on the mesh chair here. Let me give it some light there. It's just stitched down, same diameter or circumference cup holder with that same mesh material. So that is nice. That is helpful that if you do have a sweaty or leaky can or cup, uh, it won't, you know, get, it won't collect in the cup holder and get moldy. It'll air out, it'll dry out, which is really nice. So I like to see that. Let's go around to the back of the chair here and just see what we've got here. Uh, same construction on the back. A couple little threads here sticking out, not the best quality. It was only $5.97. Uh, I think the sleeves that the chairs come in will probably go before the entire chair itself will, if I will be quite honest with you. And um, on the back of the mesh chair, you get Bozark Trail outdoor equipment. Uh, as you can see though, the exact same build quality here. You get these little screws in the back that holds down this fabric piece here. A uh, little bit different in styling, but as you can see, it's the same as the basic quad chair. Okay, so first up is the basic quad chair. The sun's coming in, it's a little bit bright here. Uh, I'm a little bit too wide for this chair. I will say that. It's really not all that comfortable. The seat is pretty cramped, I would say. And what I've noticed so far is the back of the chair is kind of digging in under my armpits a little bit. Uh, so yeah, not the most comfortable chair, uh, but what I can say is, you know, if you've got a kid or something like that, or a wife that's shorter than you, uh, this actually might work out well for them. I'm about 6'2", 230 pounds. Uh, I'm a little bit bigger than your average Joe. Uh, so this chair really isn't all that comfortable for me. Uh, I can sit in it though. If there was no other chair to sit in, I could definitely sit in it. So it's not that uncomfortable, but it's not ideal. Let's just put it that way. Uh, as you can see, uh, my arms are a little bit longer than the armrest on the chair itself. Uh, yeah, I think that should just give you a good idea of how the chair sort of sits. Uh, like I said, you get that cup holder there on the right hand side. Get some nice de-beaded stitching there. Uh, some stitching around the arms there. Pretty impressive character for something that only costs $5.97. Alright, let's go ahead and check out the blue mesh chair. Okay, so much more comfortable in the blue mesh chair. The back is a little bit taller, uh, so the arms of the back that hold the back in place aren't digging into my armpits. Uh, as you can see here, uh, about the same amount of room uh, from with the arm, I guess you could say. Uh, you get the cup holder on the right hand side, you get that same, you know, deviated stitching here that we saw on the basic quad chair. Same stitching around the edges there. Pretty much the exact same chair. This one's just a little bit taller. The seat is wider, so my badass sits in it comfortably. And like I said, the back is a little bit taller, so it's just a little bit more comfortable. Also, the basic quad chair did not have the mesh backing, so I believe this one's going to be a little bit more comfortable in the long run. And you know, if you're if you're a grown adult male like myself, uh, you're definitely going to find the mesh chair the better option to go with. It's only five more bucks. Uh, you can't go wrong with either chair, but uh, I think if you want a chair that's gonna last a little bit longer, that feels a little bit more premium, that looks a little bit nicer, definitely spring for the mesh chair uh, from Ozark Chair. You get the branding on the back to let everyone know that you picked this up at Walmart. Yeah, really good stuff, guys. So yeah, as you can see, both chairs are really lightweight. They're easy to fold up 
and eat, great to take anywhere. They don't cost a whole lot of money. Uh, the basic quad chair, I believe, gets four out of five stars out of 75 customer reviews for $598, $597. It's not the most popular, it's not the most comfortable chair, but it can definitely get the job done. And the Ozark Trail mesh chair gets four and a half out of five stars out of like 630 customer reviews. It was nine. 88 or 998 definitely the more popular chair i think that's going to be the one you want to go with uh it's a little bit more comfortable uh they're it's built the same as the 597 chair which you know take that as you want it uh might be a little bit of a take back because i would expect this one to be a little bit more premium but i guess you know what for five more bucks uh what what can you expect you know you get the cup holder you get the branding on the back you get the mesh backing so that it ventilates your back so that you're not sweating profusely uh, but both are built the same um, so you know actually you might want to take a look at the 597 chair but for the most part both are comfortable they both get the job done I just think the mesh chair does it a little bit better than the basic quad chair anyways guys because I picked these chairs up at Walmart that does make them a big box good uh, my name is John Thank you so much for tuning in. If you want to see more content like this, hit that like button, subscribe. I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for tuning in.